Well, good evening, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer Review. Today you have the Rhino, and we're looking at another beer that was sent to me by the French wizard Guy himself, so thank you very much, Guy. This is from Nita. You need a beer in Ottawa, Ontario. This is their 1012 Blonde Ale. It's 5% alcohol. Let's open her up. Give her a pour into this here glass. We'll see what we think. Uh, I really am a big fan of the Nita Brewing Company. Uh, anytime I go up to Ottawa, I will have to be sure to stop there. One, I love the owner, the guy, and Andy is a great guy. And two, the beer is damn good. And I mean, you can't really ask for much more than a good beer and a good owner. Now, I'm not going to say I love this blonde ale because I haven't had this since I visited the brewery all those years ago. But gonna find out how I feel about it, aren't we? Just uh, pouring a little bit more in here. And there we go. So, beautiful golden color. Not hazy, you can see yourself right through it. Slightly off white head, big snap crackle pop. Visually, an appealing beer. I mean, it looks like a blonde ale. I, the reason I like this more than say a Canadian or something is it just has that orangey brassy glow to it instead of just the the straw yellow that a lot of the big companies have not that there's necessarily a problem with a straw yellow beer there isn't it's just that's not visually what I'm looking for in a beer so let's get on to the beer shall we scent um, I had to keep checking. A um, little bit of little bit of grassiness on the back end, but this is fairly uh, a fair deal much of just butter, like movie theater butter and uh, Werther's Originals, like butterscotch toffee. That saddens me. I I don't know. I don't know. Let's try it. Cheers. Okay, um, yeah, I'm disappointed in this, only in that there's, if there is a lot of butter flavor shining through. Uh, I'm not going to get, I'm not going to get all up in arms and scream and yell and freak out like I did with, uh, with, uh, Blue Elephant when their theirs were all full of full of uh, diacetyl and uh, and butter flavors because of the fact that I've had enough of his beers to know that it's not a overwhelming amount of beers that come out buttery uh, this might be what he was aiming for uh, I don't remember what this tasted like when we tried it uh, the brewery was like our fourth or fifth stop and we drank a lot of beer that day I don't remember what this beer was supposed to taste like but um well, what this beer tasted like then, I should say. But this could have been what it was, and I just didn't know. Well, this could be what he meant for it. Uh, a lot of a lot of drinkers, a lot of uh, mainstream drinkers, don't mind that buttery flavor. It's a forefront buttery slash butterscotchy flavor. You get both the sweet and the salty butteriness. Back end, grainy. And biscuity, with a little bit of uh, with a little bit of earthiness. So I mean, it does still have a very apparent beer flavor. Uh, much kind of kind of reminds me of say like uh, like the Blue Elephant's. Um, what was the one I did like uh, that still had a buttery flavor? I think it was the Gentleman's Pilsner. Uh, I think that was the one it was. This this reminds me a lot of, of something like that, where it's it has that buttery taste, but it's still very drinkable. And like I said, I've had so many beers from Nita that I, I know that this isn't normal. I could just imagine that this is something that they meant to have happen. And that's about it. Uh, out of 10 on it, 
probably a 525. I could actually, uh, I could drink this. I just wouldn't really care to. There's no reason to for me. So thank you, Gee, for sending this out. Uh, thank you to Andy for making some great beer. I don't know exactly what went on with this. I don't know if this is normal flavor or if something has gone off on this batch. But regardless, I would still drink this beer. I still love Andy and his crew. And, I mean, that that's what comes down to the truth of the matter is honesty. I don't particularly like this beer. It does have a flaw in it. At least it, it, it might be an intentional flaw, but to, to most people that is a brewing flaw. Uh, but do I hate the beer? Do I pour the beer down the sink? No, I can drink it. I just don't really want to. So that's, that's where we're at. Thank you, guys. Bye.